Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. Let's read the Malachi Ophach. Genesis 6. Bukenya Genesis chapter 6. Verse 1 to 8. Verse 1 to 8. Can you read verse 1, Mama? Verse 1. Now it happened when men began to multiply on the face of the land, yes. and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and desirable, and they took wives for themselves, whomever they choose and desired. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive and remain with men forever, yes. because he is indeed flesh, sinful, corrupt, given over to sensual appetite. Nevertheless, his days shall yet be a hundred and twenty years. There were Nephilim men of stature, notorious men on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God lived with the daughters of men, and they gave birth to their children, there were so mighty men who were of old, men of renown, great reputation and fame. The Lord saw that the wickedness, depravity of men was great on the earth, and, the every, and every imagination or intent of the thoughts of his heart away only evil continually. The Lord regretted that he had made mankind on the earth and he was deeply grieved in the heart. So the Lord says, I will destroy in inhalate mankind whom I have created from the surface of the earth. Not only men, but the animals and the crawling things and the birds of the air, because it deeply grieves me to see mankind sin. And I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor and grace in the eyes of the Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was reading this uh, story. And I found this story is a very true story. You know, there are certain things that you can even ask yourself. Who knew that God regretted? We can hear that the Bible says, uh, Noah found favor. This might be a story that is written by Noah. But now, if we can read here, the Bible says, God regretted why he make man. I want us to find what God, why, what makes God to regret. If we read verse 5, and Jehovah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Look at this second stand of this verse. It says, and and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. I want us to talk about thoughts. Because I found that his thoughts it was not materials but the thoughts of men who were evil were continually evil. So therefore we need to know what 
where thoughts come from. The Bible says when the Lord searches the heart, as the Lord is the one who searches the heart, He found thoughts. In other words, thoughts. thoughts are the language of the heart. If you want to know yourself, you need to check your thoughts. So, Therefore, thoughts are the character of your soul. Your thoughts are coming from the heart. And what comes from your heart makes you in the spirit. When God look at the man, there, there was wickedness. But there were evil thoughts. And those thoughts were there continually. He decided to bring judgment. If truly our evil thoughts can bring judgment from, we must be careful on what we think. When we read Proverbs 15.26, it talks about evil plans and thoughts of the wicked are exceedingly vile before God. Vile and offensive to the Lord. What makes God to be offended is our thoughts when Remember the Bible says we must meditate Bible Today when I want us to sing and sing was to remove evil thoughts so that whatever we think won't be Offending God. If we don't deal with our thoughts, it is possible we can find ourselves in a wrong road. One day in the book of Isaiah, God said, Your thoughts are not my thoughts. Even your ways. Listen, if our thoughts are thoughts of God, the way we live, the way we prosper, and the way we become our being will be of God. So here you could see in verse 20 says, evil plans and thoughts of the wicked are always vile and also offensive. When God look at us, we look at our hearts, but it becomes offended because of what we think. We end up becoming evil. Romans 11, 21. If we read from verse 12, I was checking how can we overcome these evil thoughts. Because all these actions that God does not want, they are not coming from our eyes, but our thoughts. Can you read verse 12, Mama? We'll hear how we can overcome these evil thoughts. Read. Romans 11. By Romans 11? Yes. Jesus. It says, Now, if Israel's transgression means riches of the world of large and their failure means riches of the Gentiles, how much more will their fulfillment and re-estentment be? That's 12. Carry on reading. But now, I am speaking to you who are Gentiles, inasmuch then as I an apostle to go to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry in the hope of somehow making my fellow countrymen jealous by stirring them up so that they will seek the truth 
and perhaps save some of them. For if their present rejection of salvation is for the reconciliation of the world to God, what will their acceptance of salvation be but nothing less than life from the dead? Read 16. If the first portion of dough offered as the first fruits in the, is holy, so is the whole batch. And if the root Abraham, the patriarch, is holy, so are the branches, the Israelites. But if some of the branches were broken off, and you Gentiles, being like a wild olive shoot, were grafted in among them, to share with them the rich root of the olive tree. All right. I want to show you by practicals. <sighs> okay, let me take these two brothers. Come. I want to show you something. Here, the Bible is telling us that this one was the one that was chosen. Okay. For you to overcome your thoughts, what happened was this. When this one was rejected, can you stand here? Face that side. It was for the sake of this one. When God chose the Israelites. These are the Israelites. We are the Gentiles. When God chose this one, when they failed, he chose this one. In our place, there was someone. So how can you overcome is when you remember that you are in a place where someone was rejected. So you are in a place where someone was rejected. Therefore, it is possible that even you can be rejected. So when you are standing here, your focus is how was he rejected? Why this one was rejected Why, oh, was I for la, the sake la, of me. And if you are here now, and now, and now, and now what do you do? If you do the same, you will join him. Listen, any actions we do are from our hearts and we are the one who carry our hearts. I don't know if you hear me. So now, if truly Abraham was holy, this man was supposed to be holy. I don't know if you are hearing me. We need to know that our God can replace someone. Let me give you an example. When God began to speak about David, he said, he's a man after my heart. Is a man who does my thoughts. Who goes by my ways. But now, why David was chosen? Someone was rejected. Tell your neighbor, you are, you are sitting in a seat uh, of someone. So don't be rejected. You have been placed for a test. So deal with your thoughts. Listen. When I read in the book of Matthew, just one 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 I found that God can read our thoughts. Let's read that verse there. Matthew 9. Matthew 9. If we read from verse 1 to 7, Jesus, yes, so. the Bible says, knew their thoughts. Why they were questioning him. He understands their thoughts. Listen, our thoughts are so plain. We cannot hide before God. He knows, he knows you. you. He knows why he has placed you there. So they ask him a question. 
Can you just read that verse? Arevale, verse from 1. one. And Jesus, entry, getting into the boat, crossed over the Sea of Galilee uh -huh. and came to Capernaum, his own city. They brought to him a man who was paralyzed, lying on a stretcher. Seeing their active faith springing from the confidence in, in him, Jesus said to the paralytic, Do not be afraid, son. Your sins are forgiven. The penalty is paid, the guilt removed, and you are declared to be the right, in right standing with God. And some of the scribes said to themselves, This man blasphemed by claiming and the rights and prerogative of God. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? Look here. For which is easier? Look here. The Bible said they spoke to themselves. Bible, they, have thoughts, they have thoughts of themselves. When Jesus looked at them, he answered their thoughts. Sometimes we speak what is not in our mind. But our Lord is aware. I don't know if you hear me. He will address your thoughts. We must be very careful. Because even when faith starts, it starts from your thoughts. You cannot just please God by your appearance. It starts somewhere where you come from. Can you read this scripture? You will see that our faith that Mark 5 from 27 to 32. Mark 5, 27 to 32. This woman touched Jesus. She told herself in her thought that if I may touch you know most of the time we are spending time discussing it does not become faith it is you start from your thoughts there have to be a word enters you and activates your faith your actions will follow after that thought can you read it says what verse 25 a 27, woman 27. Mark 5, 27. Verse 27. She had heard mm -hmm. reports about Jesus. She heard. And she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his outer rope. For she thought, if I just touched his clothing, she thought, I will get well. She thought. Oh, boy. Okay. No one, she never told anyone. She thought. You know, this scripture tells me that that one of Matthew 6 verse 6 going Matthew down. Matthew 6 6. When you pray, you must enter inside your house. Because he who knows, he knows what you want. Even before you pray, he knows your prayer. She told herself and she had a thought that if I can touch what I heard after she heard she had a thought and that thought brought solution can you read again verse uh, yeah. 27 27 yes she had heard reports about Jesus uh -huh. and she came up behind him in the crowd and thought he sorry and touched his outer robe. Mm -hmm. For she thought, if I just touch his clothing, uh. I will be well. Immediately, her flow of blood was dried up. And she felt in her body and knew without any doubt that she was healed of her suffering. Look here. Her thoughts was just a communication of the heart <inaudible> with Jesus. It was only Jesus <inaudible> who knew that someone touched <inaudible> I don't know if you're hearing me. It was a thought <inaudible> In her heart, she took a decision in her heart. I will tell you something that I've read concerning Daniel. Concerning Daniel. When Daniel was taken with others, the Bible says, 
He purposes in his heart. In other words, he sit down and think alone. That I can see all the delicacies from food around. In front of the king. But I don't want to defile myself. And this brought the reward. I don't know if you're hearing me. It must start with your thoughts. Your thoughts are the expression of your heart. For you to be where God wants you to be. It's not when you are dancing here. It's a thought behind your dance. It's not when you are lifting up your hands. The thoughts that makes you to lift up in other words, your intentions, the intent of your heart, determine your stand with God. Your position before God is not check the way we check you. So you can see this woman say, if I may touch, she thought, if I may touch, she moved out. And she was going. It was faith. It was faith before Jesus. I don't know if you are hearing me. Think about how many people might have rejected Jesus but their thoughts. If this one said, if I can reach there, and then I just touch the helm of a government, I know, I know I shall be home. Another one said, when I reach there, I want to see how he's going to heal people. You will see. In other words, whatever you, you, you have a thought of is what you produce. Can you tell your neighbor, whatever you have a thought of is what you produce. Can we just read this verse? In Matthew 15, Matthew 15. From verse 15. Matthew 15. 15. Verse 15. Can you tell what are you thinking? Can you ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? Can you ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? Can you ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? Can you ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? Can you ask your neighbor, what are you thinking? Oh, I don't know how I can overcome this. Oh, I don't know how I can overcome this. Oh, I don't know how I can overcome this. Look at this verse 15. Verse 15, level 11. Verse, read. Peter asked him, uh -huh. explain this parable about what defiles a person to us. Yes. And he said, are you still so dull and unable to put things together? Do you not understand that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is eliminated? But whatever word comes out of the mouth comes from the heart. And this is what defiles and dishonors the man. My God, this is what is dishonoring you. This is what lifts you. Can I tell you that you cannot rise above your expression. Can you, tell you cannot rise above your thoughts. If you want to be a president, begin to talk, begin to be a, talk about like a president. I'm a president. See president. yourself as a president. And you will be. Because you, you produce what you think. You become what you think. What you think. Look at this verse. Look at this verse. Can you just read that verse? 17. 17. Do you not understand that whatever goes into the mouth passes yeah. into the stomach and is eliminated? Is eliminated. In other words, uh, all these things you call them food are useless. They, they, they don't add anything to you. Ask your neighbor, what is that you ate today? You must eliminate it. 
Uh, so so you are useless. I am I mean, you'll be surprised. People uh, are proud about. Uh, uh, proud about a restaurant. I went to this restaurant. You know, I went. Let's go. Very soon you will eliminate it. It's useless. 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 It's is your thoughts can we read verse 18 it's a reba leng mola go 18 he ya re but yeah whatever word comes out of the mouth comes from the heart mm. and this is what defiles and dishonors the man this is what defiles ya u chila facha dishonor ibele ya thompola mo opposite is the case ebe go ra re taba ye e opposite ka mogwa go don't say someone is witching is you o se ka re motho mo wa lo wa ke wena wa lo go you are witching yourself by your thoughts ka ba ne wena o ya te lo ya ka me go pula ya ka o ya te chila facha dishonoring yourself ibele o ya te thompola i don't know if you hear it i get seven lento ta se ba se hey go tla ka fore wena your promotion o ta thosho ya ga in your thoughts e mo me go pula ya ga your lifestyle mo go Uh, in your thoughts your destiny bu yo ba ha in your thoughts boka ra me khopolo ya ha if you want to fall down how you go you decide what decide that when you know that is why sometimes ke kalwa ka le ona ko e kidi you must know ke le botsa taba yo re le tsebe sometimes god hide some people a go jedi wa modimo wa fitha batho ba bang for the sake that they find right partners o re ba te batho le ba lekane ba ba swa swanetse yo He hide he put things in the thoughts in that person o ba ya di lo ka ra mo gopolo wa motho na o there will be a certain time to manifest o tla ba le nna ko ye motho ta bona hala ha wena jona o ka fita motho what is heaven ka re ona leng wa mahatola ka tsela ye you have lost everything o la thetse ka dilo ka mo because the destiny of a person o ba ne bo ye ba motho is in his thoughts bo ka ra me gopolo ya ga i don't know if you are hearing me i get seven le nto tell him about the destiny o tla motho leng ka fore bo ye ba motho ba bo phelo ba ga in your thoughts bo ka ra me gopolo If you think foolish you are a fool. Ah o na na bo taela o se taela. You know by the time when we we start to come here in win Mandela. Ka na go ya re thomo ta mo win Mandela. Everybody here I was staying in Makulum. Na ke dula go Makulum. I was staying here in Makulum. Na ke dula Makulum. So sometimes when I'm standing on the road I will see the in the road of win Mandela like this. Na go tshe dinga o ye metse leng ela ya o tsena mo win Mandela. You just see someone holding a plastic. O ta bona motho a o rwetse plastic. Another one is just holding a paper or a O mo mo rwetse le pampiri o mo rwetse ke. Ke botse botse o diala na go tshedinwe ka re re ke noya. Ha ke fita. Ka tola di plastic tlo ye ka o fela. I say I say what is up I realize oh this is something that has been programmed on someone's mind. Ke nto e leng ya programme wa ka mogopolo ka thoya motho mongwe. We need stands, we need stands. Re thoka di tene. So you know you can't build a big house so ka sa aga se no ka re nto e gologolo ne ka hore. We are still zabalizing. Re sa zabalaza. Ba zabalaza o tlo khwela mo mkhutlo. Re sa lwela o se tene. You will die, die in your shack. But ba ba ngata ba ile ba thokofala ba fita ka ra di plastic tsheo. But the time of winter Mara kana kwa ya Maria the calls kill people who tata yo ke pifo many people died here but ba bangata ba thokofetse mo because someone's mind was programmed ka ba ne monana wa motho mongwe o ile wa programmingwe everybody copy that person motho ka o fela a copy sha yena ye wa ditomeng i don't know if you are hearing me i get seven lento that's what i say i don't want to copy you ka ba na ke nyoko o copy sha wena my thoughts me go pula ya ka ina are the thoughts of the living god me go pula ya mo pete mo a o phela i don't want to copy you i get nyoko o copy sha wena wena i know my destiny I'm not a failure. I know where I'm going. Listen, you can rather meditate. About where God is taking you. Than where you are. Can you tune your thoughts? In the direction of where God is taking you. Then you look at yourself. You begin to say, "Oh, I'm a child of whom? In our family, we are." like this i want to tell you you are not you are a child of the living god think like one if we read verse 19 in matthew 15 verse 19 matthew 15 19 it says for out of the heart 
evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, these are the things which defile the man. But to eat with unwashed hands defiles not the man. Listen, all these things you people are saying is an advantage. All this dating is a data, a data, is evil thoughts. I'm dating. When our data, evil thoughts. Are you dating? I'm dating. It's evil thoughts. Eating with unwashed hands. Does not do anything in your spirit. You can defile your spirit. And you find God rejecting you. Listen, you are created with your assignment. When I to, to, to be what God wants you oh, to be. You but you can create yourself as a failure. But these evil things that come from your heart. When people see you doing that, they say, you are, you are, you are wise. Unless you have friends that can encourage you in the things that will really define you. It's better you become one with God. You become clean before him. And your destiny will be assured. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just say, hey, I want to be clean in my heart. Even my thoughts must be clean. Let's go back to that verse again. I want, to, I want to ask your neighbor. Ask somebody, you don't have evil thoughts. What about murders? Because sometimes you pray a prayer of die, 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 what about fornications? Hey, but tabu chona, but tabu chona. Look at someone say you are fornicating. Come on, let me hear you. What about thefts where you are working? Oh, chwa kwa le ushuma ngona na ubereka biyan. Thefts. Oh, chwa. Even even when you take sisipe samtu mu wata pakasona. When you take somebody's soap and bath with it, you are stealing. It's better you come. I mean yourself. If you take someone's makeup, you have stolen. If you make up on my tomb, you will You hear what I'm saying? Amen. What What is the thought behind making that? Who told you you are ugly? Who told you you are ugly? Who told you you are ugly? Ask your neighbor. Who told you? Why don't you become yourself? Why was that the only one who went? Huh? Mm. Why, why do you have to make makeup when you come to church? <laughs> why would you make up fell out the There are thoughts. Hey, there are some thoughts here. Today we are dealing with. Why do you make makeup when you come to church? Can you ask your neighbor why? But so long have you touched one? Why you don't do it on Monday? Why make up so directly? I have three thoughts now here. Or why do why do you carry your week on Sunday? Why we carry the load of talk as on Tuesday? Let me see. Every action here shows that there are thoughts. Why when I'm directly off, I have one children. Let me go pull it. Why don't you put red lips when you come to church? Why why don't you do it when you are home? Why us are wearing red lips? Some of you, if we visit you on Saturday, we find that you bath four o'clock late. Why 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 do you bath when you come to church? Why you tap a fellow that can get out of here? There is something fishy here. On a little bit of a word, did he? There is something fishy here. On a little bit of a word, did he? There is evil thoughts here. On a little bit of a word, did he? I command these evil thoughts to go to the Jesus name.
Listen, many people today, they are not living their lives. You are living a life of attracting others. You are not living your own life. You live a life of proving to others. In fact, I'm expecting my wife to be like this every day. Tell your neighbor, what are you expecting? When I will be if my wife become like this if Sunday, and she's not like this and I bit, when I'm with her, her it means she's telling me that I'm used to ugliness <laughs> it's not but true and she wants to be beautiful in front of you. But but I have a beautiful one. But when I'm with her, she says, I know this one. It's used to ugliness. Today, I change your thoughts. I change your thoughts. Can you think like a winner? Don't think like a loser. Can you have right thoughts of the way? You are more than the conqueror in Christ Jesus. Jesus. You are not a loser. Shakespeare, I'm not a loser. Let me give you this scripture. Maybe we close very soon. Because when I'm, I'm looking at you now, it's like... A, I'm speaking bad things. <laughs> if you read Psalm 20, uh, 94, we read verse 11. God is reading our mind today. Even when I look at you, I can read your mind. Psalm 24, verse 11. I can tell you that today you are wearing like this. Because of the brother who's sitting there. Even when you dance, if he's standing on the other side. <laughs> ah, if, if I'm with mama, if mama is here. I you don't know what thought is happening. You are not going to do it for God. If I'm standing here. I came in more. And uh, Mama, I look at Mama with the eye here. If she's looking at me. <laughs> because our thoughts now are not of God now. We are, we are entertaining each other. Look at this verse. Read verse 11. It's a verse. It's a what? The Lord knows the thoughts of men. Uh -huh. That they are a mere breath. Vain, empty and futile. My God, the Lord knows our thoughts today. I told you that one day I was doing one-on-one. -on -one. And this lady spoke with her husband. Say, please. I want to see the man of God. Before. Are you hearing me? I want to see the man of God before you, please. The husband, she lo he loved his wife, he agreed. She came, she said, ah, Pastor, I know you. You? Ah, you reveal me. Don't tell this man. Don't tell this man. I know you. Don't tell him that I'm HIV positive. positive. Because I already given him. I was like saying, my God. I was saying, oh God. We can't read the thoughts. We are in danger. Look here. The man here. The woman is telling my husband. I want to see the man of God. This man was supposed to be knowing that there is something wrong with this woman. I, I love you. Go, go. I love you. Man of God, please, I, I, please, I beg you the name of God. Let's agree. Let's agree that you won't say I'm HIV. This man will kill me. As a sister, I will tell you only what God is telling me. You mean you want to tell him that I'm right? Do you want to be healed? She, ah, please, I, I, don't want, I don't want you to say that. Or else we can come together. 
I said, come together. They came together. When I began to be like a... She began to say... You don't know people's thoughts. I don't know if you hear me. She began to say... She will sit like this. She will go back. The husband is facing. <laughs> if we can have revelation of the real thoughts about you, oh my God. Holiness will come. I don't know if you're hearing me. People can pretend to be very good people. Hiding their thoughts. God can see. God can see our thoughts. You know, I found that uh, you know, some ladies when they want to get married, even when they are, they are insultive, you just hear them say, Ratu, Ratu, Ratu. 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 They are hiding. Mary, only one day. The moment you say, Where are you coming from? You just say, Wasanya. Are you mad? You. You find that what was hidden explored. Boom. Why do you want to always question me where I'm coming from? When you are still surprised where you are <laughs> standing. And the person do like this. They have, they, they hide. People <laughs> can hide. But God can see. I can see now. I can, I can see now here. There's something wrong here. There's a lot of cockroaches here. They must come out today. Uh, when a brother wants to marry, he just tune his voice. Maybe a good bass. He speak bass. <coughs> He just say, you know, I, the way I love you, you are like the sun when it rises. When, when it goes, like, even when it goes down, they will tell you what is not. You are so beautiful. You are like Mujanji train. Huh? Mujanji. <laughs> Yourself, you look at the train, you say, hey! When I look at you and say, oh, God, <coughs> the way you are, you oh, I can't sleep. <laughs> and the person is sleeping. <laughs> the, the, you don't know their thoughts, I can't even sleep. <laughs> and, and, and he ended up taking that portion of the soil. He said, Yagodola. <laughs> this person, they say, <laughs> Lord, go go to here. The day he marries you, he will tell you, he will tell you, he will tell you, he will tell you, he What were you saying? What was it was an It's like you are just messing up my day. The person was telling you about the whole day. Day. Loving you. Hiding hiding anger. Hiding things in the heart. But you'll be surprised when you are really surprised. You get a hot clap. Ah! Yourself, you just say hallelujah. Say, hallelujah. Amen. Because you are Christian from the oh, heart. You don't know what to say. Uh -uh. Are you the one who clapped me? Are you the one you began to say, I'm afraid to insult. And the person said, I can do it for the second time. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen to this. If you marry a Christian, check his thoughts. Check his thoughts. 
yours first. If you want to marry a Christian, you will know the character before. There are some things you need to solve before you take a decision. If you believe, say amen. I don't know if you are hearing me. I will tell you something, the last thing. Can I tell you? When your thoughts are clean, the scriptures will stay in your mind. I don't know if you hear me. When you express something, the moment when you say in the name of Jesus, you will see the results. I don't know if you hear me. You will feel power. Power is there when the word of God has entered your heart. And in your heart, there is nothing. No dirty things. So when you say in the name of Jesus, that scripture becomes Jesus and come and deal with the situation. Today, I want to see your thoughts to be his thoughts and your ways to be his ways. So that when you say in the name of Jesus, there will be a result this week. I said there will be a result this week. I see a result this week. I see a result this week. I see breakthrough this week. I see breakthrough this week. Keep watching Charis TV.